And more breaking news. The government seizes and shuts down Backpage.com. That's the classified ad site best known for selling sex. The move celebrated by Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart. This is, this is huge because this site has been the one that's been the primary focal point of sex traffickers, child traffic. This is, it's a victory for you know, victims everywhere. Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson. Erica is off. Law enforcement officials call it the world's top online brothel. CBS 2's Audrina Begas is here with breaking developments. Audrina. Rob, for a long time, lawmakers and advocacy groups have called for an investigation into Backpage.com. Late today, the federal government made a move to seize the site, but the details of this are still sealed by the court. Backpage.com, an online classified site selling everything from phones to furniture, but best known for selling sex. Not anymore. An alert on the site tonight saying Backpage.com and affiliated websites had been seized as part of an enforcement action. The Justice Department shutting it down over sex trafficking ads. I honestly never thought I'd see this day because for literally a decade now, we have been fighting this battle. Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart has waged a war against websites like Backpage. He says it facilitated prostitution and sex trafficking of minors. His department has made hundreds of arrests. We're now going to, have to see where these traffickers are going to go because we know that they're not going to go away. Last year, a Chicago police commander talked to CBS News' Anna Warner about his vice unit posting phony ads to catch people hiring prostitutes. When you put an ad like this up, how long does it take? before you get responses? Oh, usually within a minute or two. Last fall, Yvonne Ambrose, a Chicago mother, testified before the U.S. Senate. She told lawmakers her 16-year-old daughter, Desiree Robinson, was prostituted on Backpage. The man who found her on Christmas Eve in 2016 beat and choked her before cutting her throat. Backpage.com and other companies like this must be held responsible for what they have created. This week, Charles McPhee pleaded guilty, admitting he introduced Robinson to a pimp for a finder's fee of $250. Last year, a Senate report alleged Backpage knowingly concealed evidence of child sex trafficking. Backpage executives were called to testify about that, but took the fifth. Rob, there have been past cases against Backpage, but those were just thrown out. The hows and whys in this case are still sealed. Any idea when we might learn more? Officials tonight, when they seized the site, they said they were going to release more details. So we really are waiting for that about the why and the why now. Okay. Audrina, thank you.